What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Michigan Great Outdoors. I am your host, Jay Sostrowski, a.k.a. The Polak. Today we have for you the Latitude Outdoors X-Wing saddle platform. It's wild looking. Now let's go ahead and get stuck in and see if this thing's worth it or not. So here it is, the X-Wing saddle platform by Latitude Outdoors. This is the first time that Latitude is coming out with their own platforms. Rumor has it they might even be working on something else soon in the future, but it's exciting to see, you know, a Michigan-based company come out with something new, something different. You know, this is the Speed Series of platforms, so there's two of them. They have the X-Wing, and then the Rebel platform is going to be coming out as well. You can order either of them on a pre-order. And they're different, you know, they look different. The Rebel is kind of more, you know, similar to what we're used to seeing on the market. But the X-Wing, it's crazy looking. You know, a lot of guys are reminded of Star Wars. For some reason, when I look at this platform, I see Batman. I see like the Bat plane, even though it doesn't really look like that. But in my head, that's what it, you know, it leads me to. So it's interesting. It's different. You know, I wasn't really interested in buying any more saddle platforms, to be honest with you, until this one came out because it is so much different. It is the Speed Series. So, you know, what that means is it's basically a platform that it's designed for speed and agility. It's designed to get up the tree, get up, you know, set up quickly, be lightweight. This thing comes in at 2.6 pounds, extremely light on my scale. One of the lightest platforms on the market. The dimensions on this platform here are 11.95 by 16.35. So kind of a, you know, an interesting size and it's designed to be kind of like a ring of steps. You know, a lot of guys think that ring of step is the way to go. When I first got into saddle hunting, the first thing I bought was a ring of steps. What I found is that ring of steps really, it started to hurt my feet, not, you know, long after my sit. You know, I would get in the yard and I would practice in my rubber boots. And, you know, I'm a heavier guy, 265, and it would really just hurt the arch of my foot really bad. This is kind of the best of both worlds. You know, you, the way that these are positioned, you're going to have your feet basically right here, which is going to bring you closer to the tree. It's going to be like a ring of steps, but you're also going to have a platform to stand on. So when your feet get fatigued, you can kind of stand on the platform and take a rest. Now, looking at this, you would say, well, there's not enough room. It's just, it's silly. There's not enough room to put your feet. There actually is a lot more room on here than you think. So I found that when I'm standing on here with my feet on this side, it's, you know, fairly comfortable. You know, you're probably not going to all day sit in this platform. This is not what this is designed for. This is the, the speed series. This is designed for those quick hunts, three hour hunts, maybe a four or five hour hunt. It's not going to be an all day platform. But what I found is you can actually get more space out of this platform than it looks. If you angle your feet like this, and I'll show you on the tree and some B-roll, but if you angle your feet like that, it's almost like standing on a regular platform. So when I first tested this out, I saw it at Total Archery Challenge and I climbed on it. And I was in, you know, I didn't have a saddle on or anything. And I stood on it and I was like, man, I kind of screwed up. You know, I had it pre-ordered. I'm like, I think that I chose the wrong one. I should have went with the Rebel platform, but I wasn't in a saddle. I was just holding on to the, you know, the tree and just kind of standing on it. But once you get in a saddle and you climb up and you actually stand on this thing, you'd be surprised how much room it has. I'm excited to run it this year. I think it's gonna be a great tool to have in the arsenal. A couple other things to note, um, just looking at the platform, it does look like it's water jet cut. One thing I noticed right away is these edges here, they're extremely sharp. I mean, this is like, you know, beginning lone wolf custom gear stages sharp, very, very sharp edges. So if that's a problem for you, you know, it's something you gotta think about. I think it's gonna help with the traction on your boots. So there is no traction on here. You know, it'd be nice to probably see some milled traction in here, but that's gonna add additional cost. 
This thing is already $300, so it's a very, very expensive platform, but it does have sharp edges. I want you guys to know that, so if you buy it, you know, you got to think that you're going to have some issues. So the issue would be is your strap. Now, right here, there is, it looks like they tried to like bevel the edges in here and it feels a lot softer on this post, but you know, just having run this platform for about a week, I did notice some micro cuts in my strap. The other thing that I noticed is right in this slot. So this is kind of cool. They've added a spot here where you can actually run your ring of step strap through, which, you know, it gives you two options. It helps, you know, lock this platform in even more after you cam it into the tree you put your ring of steps here but it also offers a ton of versatility so if you like a ring of steps you can use them together whether or not you like two or three steps on your tree you can use and put them around and you can actually with this platform walk all the way around the tree it's kind of insane it's the first time i've ever been able to do that and you can go completely around the tree using this platform and a ring of steps. So definitely pretty cool option. The other thing that you're gonna wanna note is it is a little noisy. So you're gonna have to look and do some silencing just to be you know aware that it does make noise, not only here where it contacts right here on the platform, but there as well. You know, it's no different than any platform, but you're gonna have to do some silencing. Looking at the teeth here, it has pretty aggressive teeth on here that bite really well. Now I'm a heavier guy, so I have a tendency to really cam things in hard. This thing bites extremely well into the tree. I've had no issues with it kicking out. It actually bites for me extremely well. So I actually watched Latitude Outdoors Facebook video, Alex Chop. He went out into the woods and he put this on a tree and I watched how he toe cammed it. So he actually you know, put his whole foot here, put all his weight here, and then he flipped it up, and then he nice and, you know, smoothly pushes the platform down to tow hook it into the tree. You wanna make sure that you get enough weight right here so you can drive this post down and get that good tow hook. I definitely would suggest, just like anything else, that you don't jump on this or really severely, you know, yank it down. Just do it nice and smooth and steady. This is 6061 aluminum. It looks like it's probably 5 8 inch thick. And I tell you what, I have a little square that I, you know, I use to check to make sure that nothing's bending. I've been testing this platform for a week. There's no bends on it. There's absolutely nothing. It's perfect, just like it came out of the box brand new. And that makes me really excited because I have a tendency to bend, you know, some of these other inferior products. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I think that they really knocked it out of the park and i'm really digging this thing man you know it has your your adjustment here so you can just screw this in and out to get your platform pitch just like all the other platforms it has a very very aggressive you know antler slash bat wing bracket whatever you want to call it tree bracket kind of reminds me of a lone wolf custom gear in the design it looks like they did a really good job it's got six points so you could probably angle this on trees if you had to but man it's nice it's a really nice product so enough talking let's go get to the tree all right so i just kind of put my tether up here where i thought it should go and i'm going to go ahead and put this around the tree so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get this as level as possible and then i kind of like set it obviously if i was on a climbing stick you know i'd have my lineman rope around you know the drill but we're gonna adjust this. I like to have a little bit of a downward pitch, not much. So I'm gonna bring it back, get it as tight as possible. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead, get on. Adjust this tether here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tow hook it. I'm gonna do it just like Alex did in his video where you put your foot here, pop it up, and then slowly apply pressure. I'm not gonna jam it down, just nice and slow. So now this baby's locked in. 
kind of adjust myself, get everything set like I like it, and now we're good to go. Now I'm in a position right now where if I was hunting, this is how I probably stand. If I need to let my feet have a break, right here, I hope I, you can see this good on the video, but right here, with my feet angled this way, I have a ton of room. And I have, I feel like I have great support under both feet where I can kind of let my feet take a rest. If you want to work around the tree, this tree pretty much sucks because <laughs> the way it's lean. So we'll show you guys on some other trees, but I can have my weight out here. You know, I'm rocking. This thing's barely moving. And I think the way, the reasoning is because this is a red oak, but I toe cam it. The way I toe cam it is you put all that weight here and you're driving that post down. It really locks in. So I can get out here and it's, you know, it moves a little bit, but every platform is going to move a little bit. Same thing on this side. If I need to take a shot back here, no issues. If I want to turn and shoot this way and stand, I can literally stand right here. I have size 12 boots, plenty of room. I can stand and I can shoot this way if I wanted to. I could literally flip all the way around. You know, it's a little awkward this way, but I could do it if I had to. Go ahead and simulate like a behind the, the tree kind of shot. I'm leaning in my saddle, boom. No problem. All right, just to sum this video up, you know, we've did a lot of talking. I tried to show you guys different scenarios of how, you know, this thing runs. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not the most athletic guy, as you can see, but this thing fits me pretty darn well, and I'm excited to run it this season. Like I said, I don't think it's an all-day platform. It's called the Speed Series. It's designed for those short hunts. Maybe you get out, you know, at work at 4 o'clock, and you zip out there and you only got a couple hours, you're gonna be able to get up a tree quick, set this thing up in seconds and, and get to hunting. And hopefully, I'd like to shoot a deer out of this thing, to be honest. I really like this, this platform a lot. I think they knocked it out the park. It's nice, it's straight. You know, I was worried about the flex. There is a little bit of flex. You know, we don't wanna talk about flex anymore because people freak out. It does flex under my weight. You can see it flex a little bit, but it's not bending. It's not deforming. The design is done right. And I'm pretty pumped, man. I'm pretty excited for these guys. You know, I've met Latitude several times at Total Archery Challenges. They're cool dudes. It's nice to support a small business. This is an expensive product. 300 bucks, I don't know. You know, is it worth it? I think it is for me. You know, the way things are going with inflation, everything's getting more expensive. And this is truly something different. It's not like every other platform on the market. I feel like they kind of thought outside of the box. Yes, there's some similarities here in the post, but it seems to me like they just, they really did something cool and different. And I wish it was 250 or maybe even 225, but you know, I don't know what their manufacturing costs are. I think at this time in our economy, it's probably very hard to create, you know, a product and market it and get it out there, have it, you know, cut out of aluminum buy all the fasteners it's got to be really expensive to start something like that up so hopefully you know this is a temporary price you know they have it set at 300 to maybe recoup some of that money and maybe you know we'll see this thing come down one day in the future i don't know it's just i think that a lot of people would love to try this but at 300 bucks it it, it might be a little bit too much for people to stomach I'm going to keep this thing. I'm really excited. I'm going to run it this, this deer season. And like I said, hopefully I can kill a couple deer out of it because I have several spots that I think that this is going to be absolutely perfect with. You know, I got some hunts where I don't have to go super deep, kind of closer to the roads and they're perfect saddle setups. I think it'd be perfect for that. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing down below. Give me a comment down below. Give me some feedback. What are your thoughts on the X-Wing and, uh, you know what? It's getting close, guys. Deer season's going to be about a month away after this video comes out, and I'm freaking pumped. It's time to get out there and kill some freaking deer. Let's get it.